I've been hearing about the mountain biking in Arkansas for quite some time now. I had the chance to head out there and check it out for myself. I didn't just want to go and ride solo on some trails, I wanted to actually meet the people that helped make this something special. Thank you. Welcome. What's up, Dennis? Hey. FedEx van. Yeah, that's Logan's van. So I gave Paul here, the president of Central Arkansas Trail Alliance, a call. And Paul's showing us around. Where, what are these trails called? Um, you're currently on the Jack Fork Trail. I'd say we're about four years behind Bentonville. We've been building for quite a while. We've been working with the city. Um, and now uh, we're seeing the, the land grants. We're seeing the, the highway grants. in over 30 states. How does the riding across the rest of the U.S. compare to Little Rock? There are so many beautiful places, but Little Rock for me was one of those that was totally different because there's rocks here, lots of rocks, and I've never really ridden rocks before. Oh. I moved here for my job, 30 year career with Walmart, 2003, and you really, there's no mountain biking in Bentonville or Bella Vista. It wasn't until 2006 we heard about a rumor about a trail coming here in Bentonville, and that's the trail system that Tom Walton went to the city council and got approval to, to build five miles in Bentonville. Well, my mission has, has been to help develop Arkansas into a world-class mountain bike destination. You're a good bike right. rider. Well, You're a you know, legit rider. And, and, That's super cool. And my role <laughs> is to work with all the trail builders. Yeah. And if, if I was criticizing a, a big jump or a, a real technical line that I couldn't even ride, then it would be hard to do my job. So it, it, it comes in handy. And really, the secret formula for Bentonville is connecting the downtown square. You can ride a block off the square and you're on the trail. Yep, yeah, All-American Trail. That's really been a staple trailhead. Uh, we kind of refer to it as the Gateway Trail. It's max exposure to 
pedestrian traffic. It's a really cool way, and I mean, we see it every day when we ride. People looking up at us like, hey, Mom, mountain that biking, that? I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the easiest way to put it would be I promote mountain biking in Northwest Arkansas through Ausfields. Something I find myself repeating really often to very quickly sum up what Ausfields is, it's the path that the mountain biker experiences while they're in Northwest Arkansas. the breweries, it's the trails, it's the bike shops, it's the riders themselves, it's all of us all together. It's not me, I might be the one, you know, pushing behind the scenes and kind of making things happen, but certainly not me specifically. Uh, it's certainly exciting being a part of something before it's really exploded, so that's been a pretty... You don't think it's really exploded? It has now, but <laughs> back in 2010 when I first moved here, it was a tough move. The trail boom here has really, um, you know, there's been a lot of people who've gotten into mountain bikes later in life. And uh, you just don't see that unless there's this kind of movement. The community that's been built around it has really kind of grown. Every day you can go out and ride with 10 people who shred harder than you and that elevates everybody. So there's a lot of us working in this community and we all work together. In fact, one thing that Bike in the VA does is we have a bike alliance. So all the different nonprofits or different bike centered organizations meet regularly to kind of talk about what's going on and see how we can help each other. It's exploding. It's not going to stop. Definitely not in the next five years. How important is mountain biking to your prior business and to your new one? Um, huge in a couple different ways. I think it brought in a lot of people who are used to, you know, a cool restaurant. So it was really good for business, but then also personally, mountain biking was a great way for me to get healthy. So Rich, we're seeing pro-level enduro racers like yourself moving here to Bentonville of all places. Did you ever think you'd live in Arkansas? No, never. Uh, it definitely wasn't on my radar five years ago. Past few years, I've been teaching mountain bike skills clinics with my brother, and that business was growing. So, I left the nine to five grind and decided to move my wife and my son up here to the land of mountain bike opportunity. The Nike scene is absolutely exploding here. Wow. There's so much accessibility mm -hmm. that it's almost second nature for these kids. They just, they roll out of their house and they hit a bunch of sweet trails on the way to school. I'm the league director for NICA, um, which means I kind of run the league and oversee all the coach training. What mountain biking has done is really helped me to appreciate what we have here in Bentonville and in Arkansas. Um, as a whole, but like the, the natural beauty and kind of the trails intertwined with the, the city, it's, it's like I have a much better appreciation for where I live now than, than I did before. I I've never done a bermed manual before in my life. Oh. Oh. 
goal of my career. <laughs> Coast and you've yeah. lived on the East Coast. Yep. How did you land in Bentonville? Yeah, I was really wanting a better quality of life for my family. We have two kids, my wife and I have two kids, and it was a place, we wanted a place where community was more important, uh, where people move, the pace of life was a little bit slower. You've worked at some of the top companies within the bike industry in California, and you chose to move back to Arkansas. Why did you leave for Arkansas? Uh, because I wanted to grow something, and I didn't want to plateau in California where it's all overly saturated and everything's been done. I wanted to bring my expertise and knowledge uh, of bike industry from California back to Arkansas where it's growing and developing every day. Well, don't tell anybody this is, this is a dream job, I've got to say. I mean, promoting mountain biking in a mecca, uh, it's, it's pretty spectacular. It's I'm very grateful to be in the position that I'm in. This community was incredibly supportive. I moved here two and a half years ago, and not a second have I thought about leaving. The people behind everything that's happening have such incredible vision, and to see a whole community rally behind it and then be able to be part of it, it's just I, there's no way I couldn't take up that opportunity. We're all Life fires a thousand songs, the high flyers, they crash and burn, not a